Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for EMS Now. I'm here at NEPCON Shanghai and I'm joined by Keith Bryan on the booth of North St. Age. Keith, we spoke last week in Nuremberg. We rushed out here to China. You told me last week there was going to be a product announcement, a new product. Where is it? Um, it's behind you. Ah, panto season starts already. Keith, tell me about it. Okay, this is the new uh, JFP system. Uh -huh. And it's going to be launched into what for us is a new market area. It's the market space below where we currently sit with mm -hmm. the ruby and the diamond. And we're hoping that this product is going to basically sell a storm. Right. The aim is to be market leader within two to three years. Wow, that's exciting. Um, what I saw at Nuremberg and I've seen again here is, is a number of vendors looking at the Asian market, perhaps the Eastern European market, which maybe doesn't have the, the budget for their existing offering or doesn't think of themselves as maybe a Dage customer. Is this the kind of product that will address those with a kind of out of the box practical solution? Yeah, I mean, we, we counted up, there are about 27 players in this marketplace. So globally, it's, it's a big business. Mm -hmm. Individually, maybe the sales aren't that big, but when you look at the whole thing as a market, it's really worth going after. And obviously with the Nords and Dage name and the global support that we have running already with our machines, it's going to be very easy for us to put this platform out throughout the globe. And that's why we're here yesterday and today doing the launch so we can get it out to the world at the same time and hopefully start getting orders by next week. Okay, and is it because it, because it is a, um, a, a different price break, a different area that you're working in, is it a kind of an out-of-the-box solution or is it configurable like the other systems? Um, it's pretty much an out-of-the-box solution. We have a CT available as an option, we have joysticks available as an option, but it's pretty much a what you see is what you get kind of solution which fits that sort of marketplace because the, the customers know the, the, the specification of the machine they want. Um, basically, the, this machine, is, in terms of spec, is maybe a little bit better than some of them need, but it's at a price point that they can afford it, uh -huh. and that means it'll be good for the next five years. Yeah. And um, you chose to launch it here. You had the opportunity in Nuremberg last week, I guess, California a few weeks before. Was that all about timing, or was that because you felt it was really a sweet spot for the China market? Well, we think it's a sweet spot. This is also probably one of the biggest four shows of the year. Um, we didn't want to wait for Productronica. Mm -hmm. um, SMT, yeah, it's, it's a good show, it's a good platform, but it's mostly European. You know, here we had a distributor meeting yesterday. We had 41 distributors from all around the globe coming to find out about the machine. So, yeah, we're, we're pretty confident it was the right place. Yeah. Um, we're confident it's the right spec. Um, we're confident it's going into the market at the right price. So um, we're just waiting for all the effort and all yep. the planning to pay off. Perfect storm by the sounds of it. What else is going on here in China? What, what, what's your installed base and footprint look like at the moment? Our install base is growing, um, but as I say, at the moment we've only been selling to the, the high end of the market. The, the real big market is where this thing is going to sit. Yeah. So we're expecting market share to increase dramatically over the next couple of years. Okay, well, fantastic stuff, Keith. All the best to luck with it. I hope it, hope it does what you expect. And uh, look forward to speaking to you later in the year and finding out how it's gone. Thank you. No problem, Phil. It's always a pleasure.